late John Keane has been eulogized as a leader who stood for the right of humanity, equality and advocated for education of the next generation of the Kenyan leaders. Those who knew him say though he was born in Rumuruti, that's in Laikipia, he stood for elective office in Kitale in Transoya and though he settled for leadership in the heart of the Ma community, he insisted on politics of uniting the people of this entire country. In his funeral service, many praised his leadership skills as the clergy cautioned the current crop of leaders against acts and statements that they bring ethnic division during the polls next year. He was appointed assistant. Gladwell Wairimo sat quietly. She has lost her sight. She spent 70 years with the love of her life and the father of their children, John Keane, who recently passed away on Christmas Day. By her side, co-wife and children followed the proceedings as friends and family gathered to remember the life of one of the last few remaining independence era leaders. Today we celebrate his life and his achievements, but most of all, we remember the love and devotion he showed to all his children and the grandchildren. But even as those gathered here took time to recount moments they shared with the politician, the current crop of politicians was asked to take life lessons from the late John Keane. Now, especially this time, as we are headed for election in this country, Lord, we stand in your presence and plead with you, O oh God. Please hold the country of Kenya. My lawmakers in the country, I want to sit down and ask you, Bishop Saguda, I want to ask you one thing. You need to know that the devil can ask permission to swift you guys in that parliament, Kamangano. And you have seen them move around, isn't it? Sometimes the devil has asked permission to sweep them Kamangano and Amakiana Maji. As political friends and foes sat together to honor one of their own, they were all quick to point fingers at each other, especially on the heightening political tensions in the country. Dugu Sakuda, I address you now. Act justly in parliament and there will be peace in this country. And I was very amazed because Mr. John Keen asked me and said, who is that who was lashing out insults to the presidency? So as you address Ole Sakuda, I think address your own house. The government is not going to let Kenyan spill blood again. We will not. If you to pick a kelele, I need to pick a kelele Ishima. For those who stood with Kin in the struggle for independence and the clamor for a new constitution then, it was emotional to remember him while still feeling the pain of his loss. Peace of God! In our nation. As the family prepares to conduct Maasai traditional rites this Thursday and send off a father, friend, husband and grandfather, they pray that his legacy will live with them. He was an owning child but grew up to become a father to not only his 15 children but the entire Maasai community. Leila Mohamed, NTV.